Welcome back to Case Closed, Anime Review Episode 144. Yes, an episode Case Closed coming out on Christmas Day. It's probably been some time since it happened. Yes, but here's the weird thing. Next week, there will not be a new episode released. Nope, next episode will come out for two weeks. But in the case of this episode, we're discussing... The newest episode of the series, which is the, well, un, it's called Ren Mori, The Model. And we're also discussing the newest chapter of manga, chapter 1084. Yep. Excuse me. This one is mostly, well, Ren becomes model for this one episode. Yep. Now, you might be asking. How the heck this happened? Did they explain? Did, is there a flashback that explains like, oh, uh, the artist of this episode asked me a model? No. Also, here's something though: there is no murders this episode. Nope. Uh, they do reveal a little later on that the previous two models were attacked, but no murders. I'm like, that's a surprise. Yes. So, Ren's getting painted. Of course, Corny is there because he's worried about her. Obviously, because well. Conan, a.k.a. CG, in love with her. So, <clears throat> so Conan, after basic episode of me, we see The Apprentice. Of course, he plays a role a little later in the episode with a who he actually really is. He claims he's one particular guy. Yeah, there were two models. One named Iru, the only name Uchiko. Yes. Where these two were attacked. Of course, the Kona kind of figures this out because a landscaper told him about the fact, oh, there was two models that were attacked. So, Kona decided to investigate it. And it turns out, yep, they definitely were attacked. One got pushed out of fly of stairs, being a little injured. And the other one, was pushed into a on uh, to the path of a of a, of a, run, of a car, yes, a car, and breaking her leg. And she also was a track star. So because of her injury, she can't exactly do any track stuff anymore because of her injury. So Conan, after a while, and by the way, the assistant, Ishio, is of course investigating the artist. He looks through apparently his late wife's things. And, like, based on material, apparently he was his apprentice, due to the fact that he is a kind of a fan of his, so he wanted to basically teach him how to become an artist. He's so painting backgrounds, and according to the artist, his name is Raji, yes, they do, he does mention he doesn't care about the model, he cares about the image. And he started doing just recently. So, he just... Apparently, they mentioned that his wife passed away six months prior. What she died of? Don't know. What was her name? Don't know. The, the, the episode doesn't explain it. So, and they do, and of course, when Conan speaks second victim, he does point out something interesting, though. The attack happened the very day the model was, the, the painting was, in fact, completed. Since when does a painting take several days to do? Normally it's in like a day ish. Depends how long it takes to paint it, but wow, several days. Like how long he's painting he's painting for? They don't really say at all. It's like how long does it take to paint an image? I mean I get the fact that some of paintings they probably take a long time, but how long? A month? Two months? They don't say. And, and of course, Mori is involved in this episode. Yeah, he gets involved. Cohen contacts him because Rand might be hurt. Because what happened there too, and he arrives like he's investigating the whole assault case, and yeah, then of course, the assistant reveals he's actually the brother of actually the second victim. His real name is Nagumi, but Yoshio is definitely his first name. Yeah, so then he tries to stab the the artist, but then of course she's he's stopped by by Mori himself 
And then, of course, like, oh, you best get a case. And then he gets knocked out. Of course, you have Conan basically pose as him, saying, oh, yeah, he came because he's worried about his precious daughter. Which, yes, Mori would definitely think about that because Ran is precious to him. And basically, he does confirm that Yoshiro was right. The suspects from the actual studio was involved with the attacks, but it wasn't the artist himself. It turns out it was actually his assistant, Rinko, who was actually his manager. And the reason why she did this? Well, she mentioned she's a fan of his. The fact that she apparently was never asked to be one of the models. Which, I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm looking at this like, She's just a very lovely woman. I'm surprised that they didn't ask her. He didn't ask to go a model. And so he, she just randomly started attacking. Apparently because of her watch. That was basically point out though. Where like. Where apparently she's got a new watch. Because the other watch was damaged. As, and of course. Basically it was all about pushing people. And they do mention that the reason why he is not the actual suspect. Because it is mentioned he doesn't carry anything at all. Which okay. So, the other person there who could possibly do is the Hissner, which makes sense. Like, okay. And, of course, it's presumed she gets arrested by the end of the episode because... Well, because we cut to post-credits and we have Ran just doing a different job now using her karate skills to put on a sign with a, with a Japanese character on it and breaking a bunch of tiles. And that's it. This feels like almost like a nothing episode. That seems like to me. It's okay. I don't mind the fact Ran something different. That's probably the most interesting about this episode was the whole thing with model. It's just the whole thing with the attacks and it just It's just an okay episode. That's just my opinion anyways. Alright, moving on to the news chapter manga. 1084. Mentions home. Yeah, within the first half of the chapter they actually solved the murder. That they've been trying to investigate. And it turns out Yoshio actually was, in fact, correct, but he didn't have enough evidence to prove it. It was actually the blonde woman. Yes. She was the one responsible for it. And thanks to evidence, basically, well, that she was responsible. It turns out the, the, way, the way they figured it out, though, is because of her hair. Yes, her hair. And. Of course, mentioned about different hairstyles. Yeah, and of course, Yuri decides to pull down her hair. And oh yeah, hair could hide a bunch of stuff, which yes, that's kind of true. So, let her hair down, and we had the murder weapon, a wrist weight, and apparently, Yeah, and it turns out the reason why she killed this person mentioned, oh yeah, good question. We, we, she was saved five years ago. Yeah, it was her. And at the same time, she's a daughter of the mother you killed. Like, killed. Yeah, it was all due to, well, a car crash that apparently, and she apparently recorded them confessing that, that they were responsible for what happened. So that's what happened, and well, she kind of well, I wouldn't say basically that. Well, I would say these two probably be arrested. Yes, definitely arrested for manslaughter. Yes, I would say a manslaughter charge, but yeah, her basically getting justice like this probably was not necessary. Yep. So. They saw that, and after that, basically it was not just due to the gloves and the, the belt, various symbols. Yeah, and, well, after she's arrested, they still have another plot thread, basically, because, well, the handsome detective, and Newman, basically, he's friends with his brother, and they go straight to his old hideout. Like, he's like, oh, I remember he was bigger, because he was a kid. And he pulls out the whole thing, and turns out this whole thing about justice. It's a good character moment when it comes to him. And of course you and we had this funny thing where Karu basically says, "Oh yeah, Yuri, you should let, you should let your hair get undone. Why not? Why not? You, since you already let your hair undone, why don't you have a different hairstyle? Huh? 
How about a party tale? How about cutting a shirt or something? Huh? <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, Richard. This one forward. Yeah. He mentions there's a cop. Apparently, he went to the PSB, Public Security Bureau, because they say that no, no, there are no longer police officers to hide identities from the families. And it's a good character piece for them, and that's it. It's a pretty good chapter. I think the yeah, the the character piece between the two detectives, I think that's probably, in my opinion, the best part of the chapter. Because, well, it kind of ties up a loose and related to one character. And apparently he knew this character because, well, this guy's brother, younger brother, because, well, they were kids together. Okay. The murder itself was okay. But I'm looking forward to whenever this gets adapted. My guess is, probably have to wait two years. Yes, seriously. We probably have to wait two freaking years for an adaptation of this thing because it seems like though because of the anime it seems like it takes two freaking years just to adapt this thing mm -hmm. oh yeah definitely mm -hmm. yeah and how long ago was of course next week's episode is going to be a canon case oh yes definitely it's going to be you're going to love this it's going to be the Shogi Player Serum Murder Case. A, a case I really enjoyed reading when it came out of the manga. Exactly two years ago. Yeah, it concluded two years ago today. Yeah, that's when the final chapter came out. And we're going to get that next, which is great. Mm -hmm. And my guess is that this one probably won't happen until 2023 when they finally, you know, adapt it. Yes. By the way, the name of this case is known as Nikito Gemma Professional Border Murder Case. That's what it's one called. Mm -hmm. And once again, it's three chapters. Yes, seriously. I'm like, really? Why the heck would it be three freaking chapters? Yes, this is only the fifth case th this entire year. Actually, the sixth case. Six cases in a row, and all of them are three chapters apiece. It's like, okay. Oh, and by the way, the very next chapter comes out January 19th. Next episode of the anime comes out in two weeks. So, yeah. By the way, I get this chapter a rating of a 9 out of 10. Yep. So, yeah, that's it. Sick love you. Stay tuned for my, well, in the case of any anime coming today, uh, I probably don't have any more planned for today, I can think of, but tomorrow... Expect to see reviews for about three anime. There's no manga uh, coming out. I don't. Let me check and see about this. I don't th uh, think there's any manga coming out next week. At least tomorrow, anyways. No. Let me take a look and see about that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Trying to find it here. Let's see. Weekly Shonen Jump. Ah, here we go. Okay, the very next chapter comes out for. I know that I'm gonna do Barto tomorrow. Yeah, they released a new chapter this week, so I'm gonna definitely read that. So, nine days. So, yeah, no new chapter tomorrow. Nope. Yeah, the manga is taking a week off this week. So, let's see. Nine days, let's see. Hmm. So, I'd say next chapter come out until... Uh, January 3rd is when next chapter comes. So, basically only one manga review tomorrow, and that will be just Barto. So, probably will be many videos coming tomorrow, because basically take a look off a lot of the other ones. So, I think overall, I think there's about three coming tomorrow. There's just One Piece, well, not Mashuka Tension, because that's concluded. So, just One Piece, Demon Slayer, and Barto, and that's... That's pretty much it. Roughly three videos coming tomorrow. There might be a fourth one if I can some more trades them. But otherwise, though, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for tomorrow.
So, in the case of today, that's going to be it. So, until you tomorrow. Bye.